victory. Um, I came in here, I got the win, and uh, I said it was fun. What was the game plan coming into this fight? Because we saw you stand in the pocket and trade a lot more than we've seen you at different times in your career. Of course, that's what the fans wanted me to, uh, wanted to see. If I could uh, go in there and I, and, and I could walk my opponent down, hit him with some big shots, I showed him I could do it all. I could box, I could bang. Um, you know, he hit me with a good shot. I faced adversity, and uh, I got the job done. Let's talk about that good shot, because the 10th round, it looked like you were winning most of that round, and then at the very end, you get clipped. What were you feeling as you went back to the corner? Uh, it was a good shot. I was never hurt. But at the end of the day, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to box smart. I hit me with a good shot. I never was hurt, but I still continue to box smart. It did look, though, in the 11th, you were more trying to survive, get your legs under you, than be the aggressive fighter we saw for the first 10. Uh, sometimes when you get hit with a good shot, uh, I wasn't hurt, but you got to still be smart in there. And, and that, was, that was the game plan. But even if you get hit with a good shot, you still box smart. You still continue to... to uh, do what your game plan was, and I did that, and I, I got the win. You were landing some clean shots to the head, to the body. Corlin Aris was able to hold up to all of them. How much did that surprise you? Uh, it didn't surprise me. I knew that he was going to come here. Uh, it, it, it was his... Uh, a, a huge opportunity for him, so he was going to do whatever it was, whether it was getting knocked out, he was going to go in there and he was going to, you know, try to take my biggest shots to do anything to get the win. What was your mindset going into the 12th round? We heard your father say in the corner, you've got this fight won. What was your idea going into the 12th? Continue to box smart. Use my jab, uh, use my feints, uh, hit him with good shots, and that's what I continue to do. Facing adversity the way that you did, for the first time in your career. What can you take away from that that can help you moving forward? Um, this is boxing. You get hit with, you're gonna get hit with big shots. But it's about, you know, continuing to box smart. Uh, I didn't get, I didn't get dropped. I didn't get hurt. At the end of the day, we saw other fighters uh, in the lightweight division get dropped, and uh, the world praised them. I get hit with a, a big shot, and uh, they act like it was something. It was nothing. This is boxing. You're gonna get hit with, with big shots. I, I continue to hit with big shots all through the fight. You were hoping to make a statement in a fight like this. Do you think you did that? Of course, I wouldn't dare be easy. You have the WBC title around your waist. The mess with the WBC has nothing to do with you. It's a sanctioning body screwing it up. But Teofimo Lopez has been out there saying, I want Devin Haney next. Hell, make him the mandatory. Let's make that fight happen next. A, do you believe him? And B, do you want that fight? Of course, I want to make the biggest fights happen. And Teofimo Lopez is next, let's do it. Anything he said during the week bother you? Of course not. I, I, I stay focused on playing in eyes. I know that he was a tough competitor. I focused on my game plan, and I went there and I got the job done. If TFP want to get it next, let's do it for Autobelt. It's a real undisputed. Congratulations, Devin. Brilliant performance. Thank you. Guys, 